This is John. John is the head of college. He knows that the need for individuals' recognition of work, improvement and given effort to the organization is in human nature. These are John's employees. But each of them is unique. He would like to be sure exactly what's important to each of them and how he's going to measure their improvement and success. He knows if he wants to ensure and improve quality process of his institution, he should have a strategic reward system for his employees. A reward system has a very basic motivational function to increase level of staff effort and performance at work, also reassuring staff's focus on the job. It depicts more positive attitude among staff as well as effectiveness of teamwork and higher level of satisfaction of staff's feeling to be more valued, achieving higher engagement, loyalty and commitment to their employer on a long term and consequentially contributes towards institutional growth. Money can't buy happiness. I will establish a strategic recognition and reward system based appreciation and both financial and non-financial rewards, aligned with the institution's mission, vision, values and goals. What should be the next step? First step. Identify actions that can be rewarded by appreciation. Second step. Explain actions that can be rewarded by appreciation. Third step. Demonstrate appreciations in actions. Fourth step. Differentiate appreciations according to target group and individual characteristics. Fifth step. Argue for appreciation of actions. Be like John. Be smart. Establish your reward system.